What's up, brother? You believe in the Bible? Blue truck, dreads. You believe in the Bible? You. One minute. All right, all praises. First and foremost, when we give, we want to give all honor and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh, Bahashim, Amashiach, Yahweh Shah. That's the name of the Most High God and the name of His only begotten Son, which the world ignorantly, ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, once again, we out here lending, lending our hand to our people, man, but they refuse to hearken. They turn away the shoulder, man. Let's get uh, Jeremiah 17 to 23. It's Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 23. Yep. But they obeyed not, neither inclined their ear, but made their neck stiff, that they might not hear nor receive instruction. Our people love to uh, reject instruction. Our people, you know, they close their ears to what's profitable. You know what I'm saying? We got our ears open to what's not profitable. Hey, America had their ears open during the Super Bowl. Like, hey, it's... Hey, the devil. Like during the Super Bowl, you had them, uh, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. It was ghost towns out here. Everybody gives their undivided attention to the rudiments of the world. Hey, right, but the words are brought to you weekly, even daily, and you refuse to hearken. Let me get that Zechariah 7 and 11. It's the book of Zechariah, chapter 7, verse 11. Bring it out! But they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulders and stopped their ears that they should not hear. That's what our people do, man. They close, they stop their ears from instruction. What instruction? Get uh, Hosea 4 and 6. I'll grab your person. Time. This is the book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 4, verse 14. Yo. That the priest had no courage to serve anymore at the temple, excuse me, at the altar, but despising the temple and neglecting the sacrifices, hastened to be the partakers, the partakers of the uh, unlawful allowance in the place of exercise after the game of discus called them forth. So when you spoke on the situation with the, the Super Bowl, people was hastened to go, they forsook the laws of the Most High God. They, they, the priests, they, this was the time. The Greeks are in our land. They, they, they exercising themselves in the Olympics. The priests didn't even want to perform they, they duties. They didn't even want to perform the actions that they were supposed to do as the Levitical priests, the priesthood. I mean, you're the kings of the land. You, in, you on the top. They ignore their duties as the priests. The priest holders, they wanted to partake in the damn Super Bowl, the game of discus. In the Olympics, I deal with that. Hey, nothing new under the sun. That's uh, it was another one going into uh, what it says. Or it says the game of discus, but it's also uh, it talks about the games going into you know the origins of the Olympics. So it's nothing new under the sun. These same what uh, bread and circus, these Grecian Greek, uh, Greco Roman customs. It's the same today. Go ahead. It says, not setting by the honors of their fathers, but liking the glory of the Grecians best of all. By reason thereof, sore calamity came upon them. For they had them to be their enemies and avengers whose custom they followed so earnestly and unto whom they desired to be like in all things. For it is not a light thing to do wickedly against the laws of God. But the time following shall declare these things. It says whose customs they kept so earnestly. Like we ain't saying you just got to be locked up in your house and only like just be in, in the Bible just 24 seven. But hey, you got to give more to the most high. You got to keep the most high first. Our people do it the other way around. Get uh, Revelation 18 and four. Revelation 18 and four. God the book of Revelation chapter 18 verse 4 and I heard another voice from heaven saying come out of her my people that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues that's all we're trying to do we're just trying to get you to repent from the sins 
and the customs of this wicked society, and you won't be a partaker of the plagues. And we're going to take a look at some of these plagues. Go ahead. Uh, speaking of the Super Bowl, the champs of Kansas City, uh, they had a parade. Over a million people showed up. Kansas City only has a million people, first of all. So that's everybody. As they're there celebrating, uh, gunman shoots, kills one person, and injures over 22 people. So they're down there worshiping and sacrificing to those gods, and the Most High came and showed up and showed out. What's going on, brother? What's going on? You know what's going on? I right, get, get a roll of fire. Shit, I got a paper. I can see y'all here. Okay, okay. okay. Man, tap me with us, man. Go ahead. First Maccabees chapter 1, verse 11. In those days there went out Israel wicked men who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are around about us, for since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. So, our people always like to cleave on to the enemy, always like to cleave on to the heathen. You know, we always like to leave off what God wants and join what the other people have. When that wasn't allotted to us, those idols is a reason why they're called an idol. Stay away from them. God, we always put trust in these nations that's around about us and not in our uh, true power. You know what I'm saying? Let's get that uh, that second Ezra. This is, this is second Ezra 15 in the GNT. We're going to make it plain for y'all. Let's start from the top. This is the book of second Ezra. Chapter 15, verse 1. The Lord says, Proclaim to my people the prophetic messages that I will give you, and then have them written down because they are true and will be fulfilled. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So these prophecies are true. You know what I'm saying? Um, we got more and more, more people discrediting this book, but we see these prophecies coming to pass daily. That's right. Daily. But if you're not in the book, you're going to be downside. We read these prophecies and we just wait, wait for them to come to pass. All right, continue. Verse 3. Do not be afraid of those who plot against you or be disturbed by their unbelief. All unbelievers will die because of their unbelief. All unbelievers will die in their unbelief. Everybody want to bash the Bible. They want to go into this uh, Afrocentric spiritualism. They want to go into Hinduism, what's chakras. They want to do everything but abide by the law, statutes, and commandments. Go ahead. The Lord says, I am going to bring terrible disasters on the whole world, war and famine, death and destruction, because the wickedness has spread everywhere and evil has reached its limit. We see war and famine and pestilence everywhere but here, so we think, you know, it's all good. It says their inward thought is that their houses will last forever. Your inward thoughts are your houses will last forever. Go ahead. Therefore, therefore, the Lord says, I will no longer remain silent about the wickedness of these godless people. I will no longer tolerate it. They have murdered innocent people. Hey, this is brothers to choosing the pleasures of the world right here. Sabbath. Sabbath. On the Sabbath, on the Lord's day. It's cold. Go, go home. It says, I will no longer remain silent about the wickedness of these godless people. I will no longer tolerate it. They have murdered innocent people. And the blood they have spilled cries out to me for revenge. Hey, this, this whole country was founded on blood. It says the blood is crying out. Just because it's a... Hey, the Bible likens this place took as the virgin daughter of Babylon, meaning it hasn't been touched. It hasn't been touched yet. We see everything happen, happening round about, and everybody think it be, it's, it's a good case, you know what I'm saying? Hey, but this is the grand finale. You, hey, you got a minute for the Bible? You believe in the Bible? See, this is what we're talking about. Like, you, hey, come tell us the truth. 
Kanala. Man, I remember like when I was in middle school, somebody said they was an atheist. You know, everybody be like, hey, get, get them away from me. But now, if somebody say they're atheist, like, nigga, you ain't an atheist? Nigga, you believe, you believe in the Bible? Hey, but that's what, that's what it says would happen in the latter days, you know what I'm saying? So let's see what this truth is to Paul Now, I, I did believe in it, but then I, uh, as you know, the Bible says study to show yourself approved. Right. And so, uh, March 16th. I like that line that you had right there, too. March 16th, uh, the year 325 A.D. If y'all, y'all familiar with the book of Mormon, the book of Mormon, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's when the Bible got played into, well, the Bible didn't really come in existence about 1600 or whatnot, but, uh, that's, that's, that's not true. Well, somewhere around that time or whatnot. You may, you can say the tra the English translation, you can say that. There you go. Okay. But they, they made the Jesus thing all in 325 AD. You know what I'm saying? Man, what you know? <laughs> there you go. He said it right there. The Nicaea, the, the council, that's the first council, but it was four of them. Because you got the, uh, the, uh, I, I, I can't, they, they can't come to me that quick. But it was four of them, but that was the first one. And so that's when I did my research and looked into that. All right, so before we get anything misconstrued, do you know exactly what we're doing up here? Sure. Really, y'all, y'all, y'all still teaching the Bible, but looking at y'all, uh, y'all pictures and whatnot. Like right. Okay. okay. I'm glad you recognize that. So what we're doing, we're teaching our people, the, the so-called blacks, natives, and Hispanics, that they are actually the true people of the Bible, and we've been, we've been tribes yeah, all. we've okay. been bamboozled. Those people over there are imposters, and we actually waking up and teaching our people in these last days that uh, to repent, and that's the only way we gonna come out of the lowest state we're in is to come back to the law and statute commandment. I agree. So, right, I agree. I'm so do you know how to repent? Yeah, but I, I stopped all that once I stopped, you know what I'm saying, believing in the, in the Bible, because it's not all true. Uh, let Galatians. Get, uh, let me get 1 Kings 8 and 47. Galatians is at 4, 4, I think it's like about 424 or whatnot. But it's, it's right after it says, uh, what's that man name? Uh, dang. Okay. Let me right. come to me. Right. But he, he said, uh, the father of all, of Abraham, my bad. Uh -huh. He was saying Abraham, Abraham, a wife, and two sons. And right after it said, right after it said that, it says, with all these things is an allegory, which that means it really didn't happen. It's just the story to tell the truth. Well, we, we can use uh, accounts in the scripture for allegory. Well, so the Bible not... tell me that? I, I know, what, I know exactly yeah. what you're talking about. And if, if he didn't exist, he, he used the, came he, down the He was using those there. accounts for allegory, of course, uh, talking about the law. But before we... Go before we get sidetracked. What we've actually done, we've actually left all the teachings that we were taught by the so-called white man and by the uh, the seminary schools, so on and so forth. And we've actually looked into the book ourselves. We've dumped right. out the teachings and we've actually been retaught and started with the foundation, which is keeping the law, statutes, commandments. That's the first step to understanding is the fear of the Lord, which is keeping the law, statutes, commandments. That's a good First Kings chapter eight, verse forty-seven. No. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves in the land. It says, bethink themselves. That means if they shall remember themselves. Go ahead. In the land, whether they were carried captives. Are you in the land where you carry carried captive? Shit, yeah. See? Yeah. yeah, so there, there is a group of people that, rem that are going to remember themselves in a land where they were carried captive. Go ahead. And repent. And repent. Meaning turn back. Turn back to the most high, meaning... Follow his instruction, the law of statutes commandments. Go ahead. And make supplication unto thee in the land that they were of them that were carried them captive, saying, We have sinned and have done perversely. We have committed wickedness. And so return unto thee with all the, their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies. So we have to turn back. We're in the land of our enemies. The only way we're going to get escape the land of our enemies and escape. And out of the hand of our enemy is to turn back to the Most High. This is the Bible. We we were taught this in church. I never heard this in church. And I never heard about this in the church where it was originally came from the heart. See, look, that's the thing. See, we can't conflate Christianity with the Bible. Get. I'm spiritual. I'm not. I'm not. I, I understand that. Get uh, Jeremiah spiritual. twenty-three and one. Because spiritual came before religion. Check this out. The right is on the wall in uh, the, the pyramid. We can't conflate Christianity with the Bible. 
Christianity has nothing to do with the Bible. They loosely base it on the Bible. When, when you they, when you read the Bible, the look, the yo, no, it's not. When you read the Bible, man, it's like the uh, the Bible is like the when you actually uh, taste the true words of the Bible is like the finest wine you ever tasted. Christianity is great drink. Christianity is great drink. It's once you actually look at it at face value, you see it's fake. It's just it may it may appear that way even even what yeah even when you look take a closer look it man this is some bullshit christianity is, is great drink it's bullshit let's see if you have heard this in church this is jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 1. woe be unto the pastors woe you know what woe means in the bible woe means uh destruction mourning sorrow so it says destruction and sorrow to the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and have driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, saith the Lord. So he says the pastors have done evil. They have. Right. And see, the, what happens is, he said, they scattered the sheep. That, how they scattered the sheep is, uh, we conflate the teachings of the church with the Bible, and we throw the Bible away altogether. That's what's happening. So you, so are, you sir, are a scattered sheep. So what our job is... Why we got to be sheep? That's the dumbest animal <laughs> on the earth. Why they compare us to sheep, though? That's, that's the dumbest that's animal in the world. A sheep follows his, uh, his master. Yeah, but that, they need a different animal than that, man. <laughs> we're also the lion, so right. we're also yeah, we're the lion. Lion. Well, I, I can You got the lion and Judah right there. Yeah, yeah, I can take that, but a sheep. I hear, ahead, you, I hear you doing that. Hey, those things are an allegory. I think your definition of allegory is it needs a little bit. You got to go read the definition of allegory because you think that if something is used in allegory, you're taking that scripture in Galatians, which we can go to. Uh, Officer Aharon, is that Galatians chapter 2? 4? Cool. Uh, I'm going to just get the definition of allegory just to show you uh, what that means real quick. He used it to make a point. Exactly. He also... Yeah, he, he, that point right there. He, he said it. He, but he also refers to us as a, a lion among the sheep, too. So it's wherever applicable. Applicable. Correct. Right. It says, allegory, a story, poem, or picture that can be interpreted to reveal a hidden meaning. So you're taking the word allegory and saying that that stuff didn't happen, but that's not what the word allegory means. I you can't find, now other than Jesus, you can't find no grave site of anybody mentioning that's, the Bible. Our, they tell you in the book, our enemies, you got no, no, no grave site. It's millions of people, and I ain't gonna say millions, just the ones that we know of, you get the, that the, 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 the titles and the chapters. But you can't find their grave site. None of them people existed though. We're gonna get it for you. Hey. Where is your great 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 grandpa's grave at? Come again? Your great 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 grandpa's grave, where is that? Sure, I, I wouldn't know. He don't exist. I, I, well, he don't exist if, if you can't find it, right? Well, shoot, not, I don't know, but I know if I go to my elders in his family, they would tell me. Go ahead, bring that up. This is Jeremiah chapter 8 and verse 1. Bring it up. At that time, saith the Lord, they shall bring out the bones of the kings of Judah and the bones of his princes, and the bones of the priests, and the bones of the prophets, and the bones of the inhabitants of Jerusalem out of their graves. And they shall spread them before the sun and the moon, and all the hosts of heaven whom they have loved, and whom they have served, and after whom they have walked, and whom they have sought, and whom they have worshiped. They shall not be gathered, nor be buried. They shall be for dung upon the face of the earth. Right. Break it down. Break it down. I'll break it down. Most High God is saying that these people, these other nations, these Gentiles are going to go into our grave sites, dig up these bones, dig up King David, dig up the princes, dig up all of these bones and, 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 and scatter them upon, uh, upon the face of the earth. They're not going to be in the grave site no more. You can't look up and see where these brothers' bones are at. It's for a reason, right? Why would that reason be? For a brother like you to come along and be like, we ain't got no damn bones. Where the damn bones? Where the bones? But look, guess what? I'm still why the Bible say this then? It said you should know the truth and the truth should set you free. 
But that's the only time that we use the word no, because other than the word knowing, you it's have it. to have faith. You I have believe to think. it said make you free. But you know what I'm you're right. I, I always mess that up. You're yeah. right. You're right. That brother right. I, I always I, mess that up. I feel like you believe in the Bible, but you don't because you're, you're I, using I the Bible up, to justify why you don't believe the Bible. Bible. See that? But see, look at this. <laughs> when I was young, I had questions. And yeah. The only answers I got, you're too young to know that. You uh, you question the Lord, right. but. And really, if, if you the pastor and I'm young and I ask you a question, I'm not questioning God. I'm questioning man. Right. Now, if I look up to the sky and say, God, with the book, now I'm questioning him. You know what I'm saying? But when Real I was quick. young, I got I asked questions and they could never answer those. And so I did what the Bible told me to do. Real quick. Study to show yourself a fool. What's up? Real quick. For the respect of my elder, I'm going to let him deal with you. But I do. I want to answer a couple of your questions whenever he's done with you. Is that fine? All right, so that's the whole reason we brought you to Jeremiah 23. Pastors, you, you, you went back to uh, something you remember your pastor did, and it caused you to leave the Bible alone. That's right. That's the whole reason we took, that's what it's telling you right here. Let's, let's go from the top again. Jeremiah 23 and 1. Research made me leave the Bible alone, not the pastor himself. Well, your pastor caused you to leave and venture out because he wasn't leading you properly in, in the book. That wasn't getting right. answered. Man, so I we, had to go do my own research. Hey, we, we hope you stay here and ask every question you got. That's, that's, right. that's why we out here, man. No, I, I, <laughs> that's why I, we out I, here. I got my answers. I already know. That's why I'm going to church and all that. I'm, I'm free of that. Okay, you ask what, 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 what's, what's the question you got? And then the Bible even talk about the preachers when they talk about when a man robbed God, but he did it through that on the church people. Yes, a man will rob God, but if you uh, follow a couple more uh, scriptures down, it said it's talking about the priests. They don't rob God. Micah, Micah not the three. people of the church and tithes and offering. Just by me not giving up tithes and offerings. I'm not robbing God. But even when I do pay my tithes and offering, and that goes necessarily back. all the all the money in the church is not going with the church. That, that That's why back. they riding big. That's why these fancy preachers and beat this out. When I looked up a certain scripture <laughs> online, I couldn't find Joe Osteen, T D Jakes, Joyce Myers. Uh, all the TD, uh, 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 Crespo Dollar, they only teach, they only teach sermons. They don't really just. Those are the evil pastors we're talking about. It says it's the pastors, it's even, it says the, the pastors, it says the pastors do evil. That's why it's a lot. It's lucky. I got Good. a question That's for you. How old are you? I'm 41. 41, so you're around, we, we're around the same age. So I got a question. Um, how did your people get to America? We, we've been, we've been. To tell you the truth, I don't know because I know we've been lied to. So, so one more question. We've been indoctrinated. We ain't been educated. We've been indoctrinated. Why did we? Why did we come over here to America? I, I couldn't answer that. So question. your beliefs doesn't tell you that. So the, well, the I don't tell you that. The my I don't tell you why. The spiritualism won't tell you that. The Bible so, tell you. Right. There we go. That's, That's right. right. That's what got us all caught up in the first place. That's good. The Bible tells you why though. You don't know, but the Bible knows. All right, start from start uh, Deuteronomy 28, 15. Start from 15. Right, Check this out. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. <laughs> it says, But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments Listen. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So this is talking to the Israelites. This is a group of people that he said all these curses will come upon them if they do not hearken to the law, statutes, and commandments. So let's. For the last. Wait, wait, wait. Look, hold on. Wait. I've been, I've been not doing the commandments. And I'm going to say something. I don't mean to fear nobody here. But I can literally say, fuck Jesus Christ. And, and shit happens. Excuse my language. I ain't trying to cuss in front of y'all. I respect y'all. But and I've been blessed out this world since I done got my mind right. You know what Except I'm saying? Bring it up. Because he never existed. So how can a man never exist to do something? Woo. Just, just the book of the Hey bro, real quick. If you keep smoking cigarettes, what's most likely gonna happen? Yeah, this is bad for you, man. I put the weed down, but I couldn't do it both at the same time. So you saying it's bad this for is, you? This is going this is needed as well. Hey. But I put the weed down. No, first, no, no, man. no, no, no. I'm not even necessarily I'm not even trying to attack you. I'm I just really want the answer. I see, I see your point, yeah. It it's, gonna, it eventually good. it's gonna it's gonna yeah, it start gonna showing up, right? It ain't gonna be good. When you smoke it, initially nothing happened. You just you know, you just smoke it. Nothing happens right there, right? Correct. But it is still bad for you, right? 
and in a way, but it's in the hospital, so it still has some good in it. Now, that's yeah. the only drug that's in the hospital. You don't got liquor, crack, and meth. And I'm all still that talking about stuff. cigarettes. That, that too, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, but you agree it's bad for you. And eventually, yeah, yeah, eventually it's going to lead to your either cancer or death, right? Correct. All right, Correct. cool. Let's read that. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 8 and verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Because the sentence of an evil work is not executed speedily, right? If I say, say I kill somebody and I get away with it, right? I get away with it. It's not executed speedily. Now, yeah. But for now, I get away with it. Let's keep reading. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. So now I'm thinking I got away with it. Let me go kill somebody else. I can go kill somebody else because I keep getting away with it, right? Yeah. Just like you said, though. You said you can say, if Jesus Christ, yeah. and then nothing happened. That's the same way a person feels when they smoke cigarettes. Nothing happened so, until eventually what? Yeah. Judgment yeah. catch up to them, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. I'm glad you agree. Here you go, that one. Man, I appreciate y'all time, man. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, 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 you, you said, how did we get here? How did we get here? Nah, uh, he mentioned that. Man, how, how did we get here, though? He couldn't answer. Nah, answer. I, I couldn't answer because I just lied to you. I didn't die. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With, with ships. With who? With ships. By the way, whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. So what group of people in history have came to a land of bondage on ships and sold as bondmen and bondwomen? We have. What, like, our, our race. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But if that was all true indeed, we should be getting some payback with that, but the world don't see that. You know what I'm saying? You think so that's payback from where? That's in the Bible, but hey, can you read it again? Read it again. Can you, hey, check it out. Read it again. Watch this. It says, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. All right, with ships. By the way, whereof I speak unto thee. Hey, right, listen. Thou shalt see it no more again, uh -huh. and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. To who? To yeah. your enemies. To who? To your enemies. To who? To your enemies. That's why you're not getting paid back, because you sold to your enemies. You think your enemies are going to do anything good for you? Uh, Look at the Bible. Come on now. I know that. We come on now. About the you trying thing, to say man. that, hey, we ain't going to, if we was, why come and did nothing good? You, know. your enemies ain't going to do nothing good for you, brother. I know that. So you can't expect it, man. That's Let's why check I don't get, get, uh, Revelation 13 and 9. Yeah. Get Revelation 13 and 9. Man, y'all have a nice day. Hold on, listen to this. Hold on, brother. Hold on. Tell me if the right man wrote this. this is, yeah, wrote Revelation that, chapter 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killed with the sword must be killed with the sword. The white man wrote that? He, he's wait is is he waiting to be is he waiting to be killed with the sword? Man, he got his did he time. did he lead a he people into captivity? He got his time coming. Did he lead but why did he leave that in there if he wrote the, why, why did he leave that in there if he wrote? Shoot. Uh uh telling on himself now. Did he let the Shoot, basically, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it all gonna come out. He wrote a long time ago, but it's all gonna okay. come out. Why did they That's have why a, the white man have a hard time getting it right now and he's trying to uh all this stuff that he's been giving us, like the uh, the COVID shot, he's yeah, trying to yeah, do it without the black. Zephaniah 2 and 1. You know what I'm saying? Get Zephaniah 2 and 1. Because the blacks was here first, but in the Bible, they don't show no pictures of no blacks. You know what I'm saying? Zephaniah. Yeah. Listen, Listen to this. Sure. What? Uh, 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 Listen to this. Jesus Christ, superstars, this is, uh, passion of Christ. This is Zephaniah chapter 2, you verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. What nation your, on the earth is not desired? Your Bible got pictures? What we need pictures for? Because you'll see another little white people in there, man. Okay, what? it says, look, it says, gather oh, yourself to get. Hey, look here. Get the Maccabees. I'm right here. Maccabees, yeah. Come on, bro. Maccabees 1 and 1, that, that, that'll tell you. Hey. But you can't mix fish with Well, hold on, let's, let's slow down. Let's slow down. Out. It says, gather yourselves together, O nation not desired. Are you the nation not desired? What nation on earth is the, the nation that's not desired? It says, gather yourselves together. The white man wants you to do that? So why is that? Did he write it? That's why he come with a... He did that because he was... Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, white man is... I ain't gonna say, ain't gonna say he uh, clever, but he's smart. Hey, this is saying, you know gather yourself together before the decree bring forth. He wants smart. us to gather together 
so we can, uh, that's the only way we gonna get out of this lower state. That's right. If we come together, but look at this. When you at work, hell, your supervisor, if two of you niggas get, get to giggling too much together, hey, y'all need to, y'all need to separate. The Willie Lynch letter made us all bad. I mean, that got, it so all goes all the way. You know what I'm saying? It all goes in the play, though, but, you know. This whole thing, get. Hey, hey, I'm gonna say this, because y'all believe. Let me ask you this, all of y'all. If y'all in a relationship with your wife, right? Would you believe? Hey man, we we, 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 we trying to get you a relationship no, with God, man. That's what we trying to get I you. I got a relationship with God. I just don't deal with that Jesus Christ shit. You know what I'm saying? There's a difference because he didn't have no son. This you know is what I'm saying. saying? But, Look, but you go to church. You, you go to church and you see the white Jesus up there. That's what scattered you. That's why we read uh, Jeremiah 23. It's, it's Let's see the true description of Christ. Let's see the true description of Christ. That's what Let's see why the white man left this in here. Watch this. The white man didn't write this. Watch this. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and a girdle around the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool. White like wool. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. Here we go right here. Maccabees. First Maccabees. What is it, 3 or 48? This is First Maccabees. Look at this. this I'd rather know First Maccabees, believe, though, man. This is I'd rather know than to believe. But look, this is I don't want to believe. Slow down, bro. This is First Maccabees. Check this out. This is First Maccabees, chapter three, verse forty-eight. Look it up. And laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen. Book of the law. Where, they, they laid open the book of the law, where what? Where in the, the heathen, heathen has sought to paint the likeness of, of their, their images. images. So that's where it comes from. You see white people because the heathen, the other nations. Sought to paint the likeness of their images, not the true images that's written in the book. Yeah, but see, that's why you saw that that white Jesus. Yeah, that's why you saw that white that. Moses, because they took what the was ours and they painted it white. That's Get Job thirty and thirty. Get Job thirty and thirty. And you got to do more history on. You got to do more research on history. The Renaissance, the you, whitewashing. You're right, but I ain't done enough research. You got to came to my realizations. That I've been lied to. I've been lied to. That's the point. We all been lied to. We've been lied to. But y'all still in the Bible, though. Because the Bible is true. Jesus. The Bible is true. So y'all ain't really converted over. We believe in Yahweh Shah. That's right. Bro, bro. Hey, what's your name? Hey, what's your name? How they going to tell us in the Bible that his name was Jesus when the leather J didn't even get invented? We don't say that. They tell you the story. That's what we've been lied to. We believe in Yahweh by Shem Hamashiach Yahweh That's right. What's your name? EJ. EJ? Yep. Hey, EJ, man, these, these, these young men are showing you what is written out of the Bible, and they're answering your questions out of the Bible, and you still can't get it. You didn't know. Hold on, hold on, EJ, hold on. EJ, 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 EJ. You didn't know how your forefathers came over here to America on slave ships. Hold on, EJ. EJ, hold on, EJ. Hold on, EJ. Hold on. Let me go, EJ. Let me go, EJ. But these young men showed you out of the book that you don't believe and that you don't follow, and all your other belief systems couldn't show you how your forefathers came over here, but you still are rejecting it. That's a problem, EJ. I know. I that's a big problem, EJ. That's a problem. That's a big problem, EJ. If y'all was, if y'all was, y'all was committed in a relationship, would you want to believe your wife love you, or do you want to know? You both. This is a precept. Oh, everybody got you want to be okay. Hey, look here. I, I told you, EJ. Hey, we know because. Know. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I told you. Come here. Look, we know. Look, we know, look, we know, look, we know because we live. Hey, he said these things would happen to us, and we're living them. So we know. He said these things would happen to us. Look, he said we are stiff necked people. Nigga, we living it. All right. This is Romans chapter 3, verse 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? Verse 4. God forbid. Yea, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written. Get uh, Jeremiah 17 and 23 again. Zechariah 7 and 11. 
This is Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 23. But they, but they obey not, neither incline their ear, but made their next step, that they may not hear nor receive instruction. This is how we know. You are a living example. <laughs> Go ahead. 11 and 7. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 11, verse 7. Bring it this is the book of Zechariah, chapter chapter 7, verse 11. Bring it out. But they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears that they should not hear. Now we see this example every time we come out here. Right. Man, we have heathen to come up here and listen to their judgment for 45 minutes. No good news. <laughs> but the actual good news, the gospel, we try to, every time we come out here, y'all refuse to hearken, you turn away the shoulder. That's living proof. I'm reminded every time I come out here. What you talking about? How do we know? You, nigga. Right. This is Jeremiah chapter 17, verse, six, four, verse 4. And thou, even I itself, shall discontinue from thine inheritance that I gave thee. And I'll cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. What? You got it. <laughs> what book? But the Bible tells you straight up exactly why you're in america exactly why you have uh their their foots over your neck it's straightly in the bible where other where other book or any religious text can tell you that and they say you the people you are they're searching they're searching for an identity that's why they want to be israelites well what nation of people don't have an identity to be searching in the first place there we go. come on man good question we know this book to be true because we live it we looked in there and it describes us, our lives. What you have? Sorry, chapter 3, verse 23. Hey, that bro was not He listening. said he was blessed beyond the brothers rolled off. But I was finna get that Syrac 20 and 9. You can be a sinner can be blessed in a sinner can can receive benefits. A sinner can Man. get get a reward. You brother, know what I'm saying? The brother he barely rolled out of here, bro. <laughs> His car barely made it out of here. That was a blessing. Hey. What he got? Uh, on the hey, he don't even know. He don't even know. He in captivity no more. That brother. He, hey, if he was, I don't want to be wise. Right. <laughs> this is the book of Sirach chapter three verse twenty three. Now all of the brother questions were simple. They can easily be answered. Mm, right. If you ask a question, right. we will be able to answer. Counselor, now see it. Brothers waiting, itching yeah. to answer that. Yeah. Bro, still think Christ is white? Come on, bro. He was doing a lot of jumping too. Look. When you when you went to Jeremiah twenty three, that was you with the hammer. He was the nail. You hit it right there on the head. Right there. But my pastor, I just said that. Yeah, he answered your question. Precept. This is the book of Sirach chapter three and verse twenty four. Bring it out. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion, and an evil suspicion has overthrown their judgment. Hey. An evil suspicion, and he didn't have so many questions, the pastor not being able to answer them, probably more than likely because they just don't have the information right. and the knowledge, because they wasn't elected from the beginning, they wasn't in the truth, they was in Christianity, now the brother got questions that wasn't able to be answered with the Bible, he went searching for him other places, so now he has an evil suspicion yeah. about the Bible, now he has an evil suspicion about our Messiah, and it overthrown his judgment, to where he, it caused him to not believe on the words of the Most High. All right, so this, he found a way out. You got two different type of brothers. You got brothers that search, and when they finally find the truth, oh, I finally found it, I'm here. But you got brothers like that, oh, oh, I finally got a way. It was a way out. People make their excuses according to their will. A sinful man will not be reproved. Also, all they see is that old Christian mind. Right, you know what I'm saying? They're coming back. They think that they got to pay tithes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They got to start going to church on Sunday. Right. Things like that. Right. Appreciate it. They got to go to Easter Sunday. That's why, I, man, we got to clean. We got two jobs. We got to first clean up the mess Christianity made and then lay the true foundation. All right. Rip. Uh, the brother made a point saying spirituality was before religion. And then he's talking about spirituality, this and that. This is uh, Romans 7 verse 14. For we know that the law is spiritual, 
Brian Carnell saw it as So I don't know why when they think of they I don't know they think the Bible's carnal. I don't know they like when they bring out spirituality. We are, this is spiritual. The reason why we're in, we're in Egypt right now. This all this is spiritual, but they don't see that. Um, where you you Romans what? Go to um. He he said he had the truth. <laughs> he walked over here with the truth. <laughs> But this is what we do. This is what this is what pulls up here every day. We just trying to get one to repent, man. That's right. Anybody? Hey, bro. You believe in the Bible? Hey, regardless, we're getting blood off our hands regardless, all right? That's right. That's right. All right, so let's go back to, uh, let's go to uh, second answer. Let's go to 16. That's 16? Yeah, let's start around like 19, I think. GNT, right? This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 16, verse 19. Hey, right, this is coming to a city near you very soon. Famine, epidemics, trouble, and suffering are sent to punish and correct people. We already know about epidemics. Mm. You didn't have several epidemics. You know about epidemics. You're right. We know about inflation. You're experiencing that now. Hey, he's showing you. Hey, before it's too late. Get right. He's showing you. Go ahead. Verse 20. But in spite of all of this, they will not turn away from their sin. In spite of all this, you can barely pay your rent, barely pay your bills. You feel like you're going to work for nothing. You're getting ready for another pandemic. They already set the mask and the, the, the hand sanitizer out. Despite all this, people will not turn from their sins. Go ahead. They soon forget their punishment. The time is coming when food will be so cheap that people will think a time of peace and plenty has arrived. But then disasters will spring up everywhere. Wars, famine, and great confusion. Many people of the earth will starve to death and those who escape starvation will be killed in war. All right, so as soon as you get a little breathing room, hey, it's cool now. You know, hey, it's seasons to it, but hey, pretty soon, it's going to be the last season. Right. As soon as you get a little breathing room, you know, they might be, you know, they 3D printing meat. And, uh, you know, China, they over there making fake vegetables and stuff. So it might be a relief on food. You know what I'm saying? Things going to be cheaper. And you think everything is going to be good. But what, read that again. Verse 21, the time is coming when food will be so cheap that people will think a time of peace and plenty has arrived. But then disasters will spring up everywhere, wars, famine, and great confusion. As soon as you think, as soon as you think everything is good, hey, that's when you're going to be blindsided, man. Great confusion. Great confusion. I thought everything was good. Go ahead. Many people on the earth will starve to death and those who escape starvation will be killed in war. Their corpses will be thrown out like garbage and there will be no one left to comfort the living. The earth will be deserted and its cities demolished. Hey, corpses will be thrown out like garbage. You're going to step outside and be stepping over corpses. We see this. You can look at videos overseas and this is happening, but hey, you ain't been touched yet. You think it's all good? There will be no one left to plow the land or plant it. Trees will bear their fruit, but there will be no one left to pick it. Grapes will ripen, but there will be no one left to make wine. There will be desolation everywhere. There will be desolation everywhere. Hey, the little, the little crops that do bring forth their fruit, it ain't going to be nobody there to pick it. That's how desolate it's going to be. 
Right. It says, and a person will long to see the face of another person. Excuse me, I'm going to read that again. Verse 27. Second Ezra 16 and 27 in the GNT. And a person will long to see the face of another hu of another human being or even hear the hear, hear another person's voice. Only 10 will be left out of a whole city. And in the countryside, only two who have hidden in the forest or in the caves. Yeah, so you might, you know, you might be the only person within like a 20 mile radius. And if it is somebody within that radius, they had, as you should be too. I am legend. <laughs> yeah, just like I am legend. They coming out with another one. They probably gonna show you some of these same things in there, these subliminals. They showing you, even the wicked are showing you. Right. Still won't listen. Go ahead. Verse 29, when an olive grove is harvested, three or four olives may be left on each tree. When grapes in a vineyard are picked, a few bunches may be left even by those who look carefully. That is how it would be in those days. Three or four will be missed by the soldiers who search through the houses to kill everyone. Hey, so everybody doing this doomsday prep, you know, they got all these canned goods, stocked up, water, so on and so forth. Hey, these soldiers gonna hunt you out your house. Uh -oh. NATO soldiers. Uh-oh. It's on the way soon. Get uh, Revelation 18 and 3. 18 and 4. Uh-oh. People got canned stored up. Like, what you gonna do when you get, when you gotta leave your house? You gonna get a backpack full of canned goods? How long are you going to be able to carry that? What you got? It's the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 4. Yeah. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye, ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. And hey, so come out of this society, drop, withdraw your spirit from this society, and like be not partakers of the pleasures which are temporary. Be not partakers of the uh, wicked pleasures of this society, and you won't be partakers of the plagues. Right. And with that, we'll say, Kala Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Hamashiach Yahweh Shah, Shalom.